Chaim in a small town of Sairam in the South Kazakhstan region. This village is located on the river Sairam Su. Historians believe that before there was an ancient city, Ispijab, which was an important trading point on the Silk Road. It is said to be that the Sufi poet and philosopher Kodja Ahmed Yasawi was born here. There are several mosques in the city, all of which are of significant historical value. It should be noted that Sairam maintains a special atmosphere and reminiscent of cities described in ancient oriental tales. Inside Sairam you can find a very picturesque bazaar. Once you get there, it's like you're delving deep back into the past. It differs from the markets I have seen in other regions of Kazakhstan as here you can find fresh vegetables from local farms, meat products, spices and fruits. Many residents of Sairam have tandir, as in the morning they sell hot tandir bread and samsa. In the town's cafes you can often find dishes cooked in a cauldron. I thought to myself, I should very much like to cook something like that. Friends, welcome again to my kitchen. I'm certainly glad to be back. Just an hour ago, it was still sunny, and whereas now there is a light rain, this will not prevent me from preparing two delicious dishes today. Firstly, I'm preparing samsa and kazan kebab. For this, I need pastry and meat. I bought ready-made puff pastry. Of course, in places where I have been, people prepare pastry by themselves. They roll it, oil it, prepare lovely samsa and bake it in tundra ovens. But today, since I do not have a tundra in my kitchen for the first time, I'm using the cauldron. Yes, let's see what will happen. I'll put the pastry aside for now and take care of the meat first. We're using beef for our samsa today. Look at this absolutely gorgeous and delicious meat. I will now separate the beef from fibers. We won't use minced meat. We are going to use chopped beef for our samsa. Chop the onions and cut the tail fat. It can be used at a one-to-one -one ratio to the total volume of meat. But I do not really like greasy dishes, so I try to cook with less tail fat. So let's start with our beef. As usual, I will use this knife. With a sharp knife, cooking is much more pleasant and it's less likely to damage your hands. The first part of the meat is for samsa and the second part is for kazan kebab. Meat, tail fat, onion, pepper and salt. Everything for our samsa. So I'm going to cut across the fibers. When you cook, pay attention to how you cut the meat across the fibers. The tenderness of meat will depend on that. To dice the meat into cubes, I'll cut in little stripes first and then cut them along. Cut the strips of our filet. Very good meat cuts pleasantly. This is the kind of chopped meat we get. I will cut some more, add onions, spices, tail fat and we'll stroke the cauldron. Meat is almost done. Look at this incredible chopped beef. By the way, for hamburger lovers, you can cut your meat and use it for minced meat patties. If you have lamb but not beef, lamb is a bit tougher after you cut it, so you may want to tenderize your mutton with the blunt side of the knife. That is to say, after you have chopped it, tenderize it this way. I also tenderize beef a bit, so that our meat becomes even more succulent. What happens when we tenderize meat? The fibers get separated and they become softer. And so when we chew the meat, we can feel how beautifully tender it is. 
Meat is done. Now cut the tail fat. Let's see how much tail fat I need. Cut the tail fat into square is literally half a centimeter. Two millimeters, three millimeters, about such measurements. The main purpose of the tail fat is to release juices, soaking the meat with it. We do not want lean samsa. I need basically 20 more grams of tail fat. Enough. Stir it with meat. Proceed with slicing the onion. We will mince the onion into small cubes. If we use tail fat to give some moisture to the samsa, then we need onion for its juiciness, taste and aroma. Usually when I cut an onion into small cubes, I make such small cuts along and then I chop onion further. Samsa without onion isn't samsa. We have enough onions for today. When preparing samsa from lamb, we add various spices to mince meat. Since lamb has specific taste, it is blended with a small amount of zira, thyme and rosemary. Beef does not have such smell, the minimum amount of spices will do. Salt and black pepper. I always season to my preference. For instance, I never oversalt anything. I prefer to add a little less salt and put salt while having a meal. But some said this is a dish that you need to salt and pepper to a certain extent. Because you will not have the opportunity to salt. You have to be very careful with seasoning samsa. Our stuffing is ready. It's time to stroke the cauldron, prepare the pastry, sculpt our samsa and cook. It's time to work with the pastry. I cut the pastry into small pieces. By the way, for the amount of meat I have, it equals six pieces of samsa. So I will cut the pastry into six pieces. A perfect buff pastry. Nice to work with. Well, we need to make such small flat bread pastry, in the center of which we'll put our stuffing made out of meat, onions, spices and, of course, the tail fat. Here is some flat bread with a diameter of about 15 centimeters. You can do it with your hands or use a rolling pin. Pastry is ready. I made scones. Cauldron, by the way, has already warmed up, so I need to hurry up a little. Minced meat is divided into six equal portions. Place it in the center. I'll add a little water for the broth. And now I begin to join our samsa from above. And the upper part is the bottom of our samsa. 
This part we will stick to the cauldron. The base, the bottom of the samsan turns out to be quite thick, so we'll stick it to our cauldron and it will not get over fried. Here are my beautiful small samsas. And now I will separate the yolk from the egg white to cover our samsa with from above. Separate the egg white from the yolk. We will cover the upper part of our samsa with the yolk to make it beautiful and golden. And also cover the lower part with egg white, the part which we will stick samsa to the cauldron. We apply a small amount. We will stick sesame seeds to this yolk. Well, let's try to stick the samsa to the surface of the cauldron. The most interesting part. Our cauldron has warmed up, samsa is almost ready. Well, let's stick to our cauldron and bake thoroughly. We will place on the black side. It's working. Probably the distance between the samsa needs to be held a little bit more. Well, the first step has been done perfectly well. Let it rest for 15 minutes. But I recommend covering the cauldron tightly so that there is enough heat inside to bake samsa and for the juice to come out. Friends, you will not believe, but it's possible to prepare samsa in a cauldron. Look at this gorgeous beauty. I'm just amazed. Great, it's sticking out from the cauldron. I'm going to set the table. Samsa in Kazan. Slightly crush the dough with your hands, roll into sausage shape and cut into thick pieces. Straighten small pieces with fingers and lightly roll with a rolling pin. Finally chop the beef, mince the fat and onion. Season force meat with black pepper and salt to taste. Stir. In the middle of each piece, put a small amount of minced meat and collect all the edges of the pastry to the center. Seal samsa, turn over. Cover the upper part of the samsa with yolk and dip the side with the edges covered in an egg white and immediately stick this side to the wall of the heated cauldron. Cover with the lid. Bake until golden brown over medium heat. Kazan kebab is quite a versatile dish. This is finely chopped meat strips and vegetables. Today we have onions, peppers and zucchini, but I will not use the core. I will use a thick peel. First of all, I'm going to show you how I'll cut it. To begin with, we'll cut the beef in such stripes. If you have a little bit of frozen meat, then it will be easier to cut it in plates. But if you have freshly chilled meat, then use sharp knives. Kebab means shashlik, and kazan kebab is shashlik cooked in a cauldron. Kazan kebab can be prepared from fillets using meat on a bone. Also, kazan kebab is cooked with potatoes, but now it's summer, so we'll cook it with vegetables. The meat is ready. Now chop the onion. 
The onion will be cut into large pieces. So we divide it into four parts and make them into stripes. Vegetables are going to fry at the last minute, so they will be slightly simmered and keep all the vitamins. I will marinate meat in soy sauce and spices. Now I'm going to add some sauce, a little salt, and a little more pepper. While the meat is being marinated, which takes 5 to 10 minutes, I will finish working with vegetables. I do need the core of zucchini. For kazan kebab, I need the thickest part of the zucchini and I'll cut it in slices. Bell pepper. I'll remove the seeds and cut it into large enough pieces. The cauldron is heated, now we'll fry the meat. Add vegetables and spices to taste and our kazan kebab will be ready. I will prepare kazan kebab in two sets. First of all, I'm gonna fry the meat, then take it out, put the vegetables and serve our dish. Firstly, fry meat in oil. Cauldron is heated very strongly, so I will need to stir the meat and fry it until brown. Meat has started to release the juice. It does not stick to the surface of the cauldron anymore, so with peace of mind, I now close the lid and leave beef until it's completely cooked. I have just tried one piece of meat. It's ready, so I'll take it out. We need leftover oil to saute the vegetables. I will dip the vegetables into the boiling cauldron. Lead on, saute and bake the vegetables at the same time. Kazan Kebab. Slice meat into strips and marinate in soy sauce, salt and spices. Fry the meat in a cauldron using vegetable oil until golden brown. Cover, simmer until soft. Take out the meat from the cauldron, saute the vegetables in the remaining oil and juice. To do this, peel and cut the zucchini in strips. Chop the onions and the peppers. Throw vegetables in the cauldron and fry. After, place the meat next to the vegetables and mix. Our culinary journey has come to an end. Today we have prepared samsa and kazan kebab in Kazan, but more splendid and tasty places of Kazakhstan are waiting for us. I promise to surprise you over and over again. Travel with us. Bon appétit!